All right, here we go. I'm nervous because when I went into a loop, I tried to do a loop of this thing, it freaking stalled in the air. And I don't know why. Maybe I didn't have enough speed. I don't know. Let's try the gear. That's kind of weird. It doesn't come down all the way. It'll go up all the way. Bent. Shit. Bent a little bit. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, nose gear's bent. Slightly. It'll work. I will try it again. Keep it out of the sun. There we go. Elevator's good. Flaps. We'll take off with that flaps again. I kind of like that. Man, that's wind. Seems like it keeps changing on us. I don't know why. But here we go. Ready? There we go. Gear up. The wind is at my face again. Which, it changes, it does change. Let's do a swoop in here. I think this aircraft is susceptible to tip stalls because of her engines. So when you're up there, you really don't want to go too hard on the stick. You just kind of want to cruise around a little bit. Be nice and level and gentle. No rudder inputs this time. She's trimmed out a little bit to the left. The wind will push this one around, but not too bad. That's more noticeable at slow speeds. Orientation's a little weird because it's the same color wing. See how she bumps? She's a little bit listing a little bit to the left. Other than that, she's not too bad. I keep hearing this. I think it's the door I'm hearing. The chattering of the door. When I go into a stall, that door is fluttering. It wants to open up. Plenty of power though, for sure. If you want to get up to speed, nose her down and power her out. If the controls get mushy, hammer on it. Get out of there. Nose it down and hammer. Okay, we're gonna dive down. You can do steep dives. She will level off. But get back on the power. Cause she is an EDF. She will fool you. I think that's two minutes, maybe three. You will do rolls. That's on low rates too, so. I still feel the wind uh, right directly in front of us right now. I'll just glide in. It's 
she will fly around for a little while if you don't hammer on her too much. Let's try it flaps down here. We're just gonna do gentle turns here. I think that's one minute left. Oh, that's four minutes. Gears down. We're in the wrong orientation though, so let's just putt around. We'll come back around the other way. We'll land the same way we did the 16. All right, here we go. Don't get on her too much. Just level the wings. Okay, well, she's floating. So she let her sink, let her sink. All right, we're gonna go around. She was floating there un unexpectedly. That's okay. We'll go back around. We have plenty of power. Bring her back around. Nice and easy. It's a little bit hot. That's a little hotter than I like. We gotta go back around again. You gotta bring her in a little bit lower than that. So go out a little bit farther. You can let her sink a little down, sink down, sink down. That's good, that's good. Let her sink, let her sink. Let her sink, don't flare, not yet, not yet, not yet. Nice. A little bit, we were just at stall. Just barely at stall, but if you notice, I gave it a little bit of gas. Because you don't want to you don't want to force that elevator up. You start forcing that elevator up, that's when she's going to tip stall on you and she's going to roll in and you're going to be crying. So she's really, really... Actually, I think I had flaps. I might have put them up. I don't know. We'll see on the video. I might have landed without flaps. Which sometimes is better. It just depends. She is very uh, finicky. You gotta use what you got. You gotta use that speed with her.